This week we released our latest High Street Banking statistics and I want to give you a little flavour of some of the main messages therein. The three main areas, the first is the mortgage market. We, we saw continued softness in the mortgage market in December, a trend that's been in place uh, since the spring as the mortgage market has weakened. Uh, but we expect mortgage activity to pick up next year, driven by the very favorable offerings in the market. Uh, rates have continued to fall uh, and the underlying dynamics of the housing market. Secondly, the area of unsecured personal lending, and that's about 12% of total lending, and that's growing quite quickly. It's growing at about 5%. That's personal loans and credit cards, and that reflects the fact that consumers are feeling more confident about uh, the economy, the strong labor market. Um, we uh, would note, though, that the, both the growth rate and the amount of outstanding unsecured lending is well below what we saw uh, before the last crisis. Uh, the total amount outstanding through banks in terms of personal lending is about half what it was. So we're nowhere near the kind of credit boom conditions that we saw uh, prior to the crisis. Finally, business lending. We're still seeing a fall in the outstanding stock of lending to businesses. Most of this is driven by two factors. Firstly, the fact that large firms are relying more upon the bond market for financing rather than banks. And secondly, the fact that banks continue to run down uh, their uh, holdings on, uh, in commercial property portfolios. What we have seen, though, in the last couple of months is that uh, net lending to SMEs has actually picked up. So overall, there's a mixed picture, but I think it's fair to say that uh, the, the health of the banking system uh, is uh, stronger and that's helping to support lending into the economy.